Iqaluit, Canada. Last stop on what the Pope has called a penitential pilgrimage. On Thursday, the pontiff asked for forgiveness, alluding to the deplorable evil suffered by so many at the hands of the Catholic Church in Canada. But some feel that after so long a wait, the Pope's apology was not enough. The apology was not a full apology. It did not recognize the Roman Catholic's institutional role in protecting abusers. Between 1880 and 1996, more than 150,000 were taken away from their homes and their culture, sent to boarding schools which sought to culturally assimilate, quote-unquote, civilizing and integrating indigenous people. Many suffered physical, sexual and emotional abuse in these schools, while thousands never made it home. He came here, uh, I don't know, and uh, asking for forgiveness? <laughs> I don't know, no, no, not for me anyway. So. At a reconciliation mass on Thursday in Quebec, two members of indigenous communities unfold a banner reading Rescind the Doctrine. This refers to the so-called Discovery Doctrine, a principle which endorsed the colonization of non-Christian territories by European nations on the basis that they had discovered them. In Icaluit, the Pope will address and meet former pupils of one of these residential schools before returning to Rome.